And so we were super upset. There was nothing we could do about it. Um, we There was a lot of dialogue going back and forth, but I'll just like, I'm trying to get through this quickly. So at this point, I'm like, just get me to this damn apartment and let's just like relax and recoup. Let's go, my husband got a job opportunity out in Scottsdale, Arizona. We pretty quickly had to decide whether or not we were gonna take this opportunity and we just decided to do it. We found an apartment pretty quickly. We got approved, we got a move-in date. Like it was all happening very fast. And originally we were gonna just rent a U-Haul and drive it with our pets and all of our things and do it like all in one shot. And we decided last minute that would it actually be a lot better and easier if we just hired a moving company and had professionals help us to ease the stress of moving. We told them that we needed to move in on June 8th. So we're like, what day do you need to come get our stuff so that we can be sure that we get our things on June 8th? So they come the weekend of June 1st. Um, so the mover shows up, it's just one guy, which I thought was kind of odd, but it was just one guy. He sees our stuff and he's like, oh, that's not all gonna fit in the truck. And I'm like, what do you mean? The moving truck is ginormous. It will totally fit. And he's like, no, you guys only paid for a small part of the truck. And if you want to be able to fit everything, you have to spend like another $1,200. Mind you, what we already paid was expensive. And we were quoted through the moving company and we had an inventory with them. We told them everything we needed to move. They were aware of what we had. So we had to just pay the money, unfortunately, and pay for more space in the truck. It took this guy all day to get our stuff in the truck. Like I felt so bad for him. It was just one guy. And at the end of it, he's like, okay, well I'm out of space and we can't fit the rest of your things. And I'm like, what do you mean you can't fit the rest of our things? We would have had to have paid more to fit the rest of our things and we couldn't do that. So we had to get rid of our bed frames, bookshelves, our coffee table, um, lamps, things that we really, really wanted to take with us, we had to get rid of, which was really upsetting, but there's things in the story that are much worse than this. At the time, that felt really upsetting though. So we're sitting at breakfast and my husband's like, hmm, let me call the moving company just to quadruple check with them that they will be there at around noon on the next day or on the 8th on that day so he calls them and he's like hey are you guys still on route to get us our stuff at about noon today and they go no your stuff is sitting in a warehouse in nevada and we won't be loading the truck until like next week we're like what do you mean we told you we were moving in on june 8th you have all of our things you have our mattress you have our clothes you have everything they were like oh yeah no june 8th was just an estimate you're not gonna get your stuff um today basically and so we were super upset there was nothing we could do about it um we there was a lot of dialogue going back and forth but i'll just like i'm trying to get through this quickly so at this point i'm like just get me to this damn apartment and let's just like relax and recoup so we drive straight to scottsdale we get to the apartment complex it's super cute we're super excited my husband gets out of the car to go to the front office to get the keys and like do the deposit and all that but there is no front office and that was not communicated with us we were just told to show up at 12 to get our keys so we call the guy that um like works for the apartment complex that was doing our contracts with us the one that told us to be there at noon on the 8th and he doesn't pick up so we call him like five more times and he doesn't pick up so finally we just get a hold of someone who works for a different apartment complex run by the same company and she looked into the system and was like your move-in date isn't until the 13th and she says the apartment is not ready for you today and we were like what do you mean because originally like months ago we did have a contract to move in on the 13th but once my husband got his move-in date or his start date for his job we called and had a new contract made for june 8th and we even had to get a new apartment um unit number and all that and so we had confirmation that our move-in date was on the 8th so even still today i don't know what happened with that but um basically she was like if you guys just stay in a hotel um we'll reimburse you and we'll get you your keys by monday the 10th so we had to find like a pet friendly hotel um we stayed at the scott resort and spa in scottsdale which oh my gosh it's that place is stunning, amazing. So Monday comes around, um, we get the keys for the apartment, we go in there and there's no power, which is weird because we called the power company, we set it up in our name, it was supposed to be turned on that day. So I called them and the lady was like, oh yeah, it should definitely be coming on today. Like if it doesn't in a few hours, call back. So I left, I ran some errands, I came back, power still wasn't on. Mind you, my husband had to start his new job that day so he wasn't around so finally at like 5 30 yesterday the property manager's like just get another hotel room we'll reimburse you for it and we'll try to get this figured out we're gonna get an actual electrician out today 
So yesterday we had to move stuff from the first hotel to our apartment. You know, all the things we have, we don't have much with us, but it's a lot and we, I have a little car and we have our pets. So we had to go from the hotel to move everything to the apartment and then back to a different hotel. And we spent the night last night in a different hotel. It's quite bad, isn't it? From the, uh, the moving company to, uh, you know, basically mess around and annoy. Uh, this woman who's literally just trying to move homes. I've never done it myself, I've never been involved with any moving companies and what they're like. Um, but obviously, you'd feel quite hard done by as well as confused as to why you was originally quoted one price that even though you listed everything you'd want to, you'd want to be moved and they, they gave you that price for that quote, for that amount of space in the lorry to then be told that it's not going to be fit and you need to pay an extra $1,200 to be able to literally take the rest of your stuff and fill up the rest of that space in that lorry. What if she didn't have $1,200? What if she didn't have it? What if she didn't want to pay it? What if she caused an uproar or an argument and said, no, you quote us this, then therefore we should be able to be able to pull all that stuff in. Obviously she paid the twelve hundred dollars. That's the easy route really for the company. And I'm sure when she paid that she was you know she was in her mind she thought she was one hundred percent guaranteed to be able to move all of her stuff from this one house into the new house in uh, Arizona. That clearly didn't happen, did it? <laughs> and you know, by that point, this is the third time now, and you'd start to get just a little bit annoyed, just a little bit angry, and you know, you kind of feel as well. You've probably got a little bit ripped off, which I mean, I know I definitely would feel um, that way. Um, so obviously, then. What else are you meant to do? You're not going to pay any more money. You've already forked out probably close to two grand on literally just moving all your stuff. So she's had to get get rid of some things. And personally, I wouldn't want to do that because some things might have sentimental value. But then you've got to get rid of them. So you're losing money on them. So then when you get to this new property, you've then got to basically rebuy the same furniture. So you're going to be out of pocket even more. So surely it might have made more sense to just pay them a little bit extra on top of what you've already paid them just to take the rest of your stuff like they should have done in the first place.